Anyway, to get back to the star, it's all held together by gravity, and it's got a nuclear fuel, which we haven't been talking about, that is burning up the hydrogen and generating energy, which keeps things going. And after a while, it would use the fuel up. And people began to think about what would happen then. And it would be possible to just be gas sort of hanging around, held together by gravity, but quiet. But another possibility was to think, if I push the stuff together closer, the gravity is stronger, would it hold together? Well, if you push a little bit together, the pressure increases. When you push gas together, there are more atoms and they pound harder, so the pressure's higher, but the gravity's stronger, and it turns out the pressure wins. So it would just come out again. If you push a, a star in like that, it, it oscillates, and there are some stars that are oscillating and vibrating and so on, but then... But it turns out, if you keep on analyzing it and you push it together very far to the incredible concentration that the whole mass of the sun is down to the size of the Earth or smaller, and then it turns all the nuclear matter, all the nuclei of the atoms are all stuck next to each other tight. The electrons are, the spaces where the electrons are is all squashed out and it comes out that when you get to that far, the gravity strong enough has overpowered the pressure again. Even though the pressure's got to be enormous, the gravity's got to be even more enormous and the thing will stay steady at a different size and be nothing but a neutron's nuclear matter, nothing solid nuclear Matter. And this is a possibility was worked out by Oppenheimer and Volkov, and it's called a neutron star. And people waited to see if there were any such neutron stars for years, until recently they found these strange pulsars which uh, emit flashes of uh, radio waves, and later they found light, which can go 30 times a second, for instance, the fastest ones, or maybe 10 times a second, or one a second. Uh, and at first, that's very mysterious. You're used to stars being big and slow, and how can anything in a star move in a 30th of a second? Well, these things are very small neutron stars, and they're spinning very fast. And there's some, for reasons not yet understood, they're emitting a beam of radio waves, like a searchlight in an airport or something, and those things go around, boop, 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 so we get the flashes, tick, 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 that fast. To imagine a star, the mass of the sun, doing something, turning so fast as 30 times a second, there's another one of these big number 